Enemy claims zone C. Zone A captured. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Destiny 2 PvP video. Today we're going to be talking about the Imperial Needle. This is a lightweight frame and if you've been around the channel a little bit, you know that I think lightweight frames are not the greatest. They have a lot of downsides compared to their uh, precision frame counterparts. Mainly that you have to get a headshot and then a body shot if you want to kill with just the bow. And then also uh, if you use them like I do, which is, you know, make your shot and then switch away from them. They require a lot more extra damage because they just don't do that much. And if you don't get that headshot, most of the time you're going to need uh, two shots or even three, depending on the weapon you're using. You're going to be rocking Icarus. You can do, uh, what's that mod called? Quick Access Sling if you uh, need to. I think that's better on Precisions because you can see the handling bar there is really high on Lightweights. I'm uh, going to be pairing it with a quick draw steady hand. Really like this roll I've got here. I don't think alloy really does anything. So I'm going to just use flared for the stability. But uh, quick draw helps a lot um, to combat the low handling and, you know, kind of a rough feel of that. Going to be rocking the arc strider. Uh, the skip grenades do a really good job. If you can get a quick headshot with the bow, you can just toss in the skip grenades and you'll get the kill a lot of the time. And then just rocking worm husk, uh, just because I haven't really used it that much this season. I could rock uh, the double skip grenade gauntlets. This is probably not the god roll for Imperial Needle, but it has elastic string and fiberglass, which is insanely good. And I think an interesting part of this impulse amplifier perk, which is a new perk, this is the only bow that has it. It allows you to do those like half draws and you get a lot more distance. And that could be pretty useful in um, more of a hectic scenario when you're using a bow. I think a lot of bow users could find some love with that. Uh, oh, don't freeze me. That perk. I don't know how many bow lovers are. Oh, he. Yeah, see, a precision bow would have gotten the kill there. But it, these do. Oh my gosh, my teammate just ate my bow. These uh, do have the benefit of having really good draw times, and this is like the lowest you can go, actually. Anytime you get a bow with that combo, that greatly increased accuracy on. Did he hit me with that? Wow, he did. Really low draw time, like 576 and greatly increase accuracy that's that's my god roll i think that's not really controversial though i mean that's like wow i got melted that's like the only thing that really matters on bows draw time and accuracy oh someone else has got a bow on now Oh, they did nothing. <laughs> I was expecting the kill and then I think a little out of range for the 120 there. This is a great map for this combo actually. A lot of 120 and bow ranges. Why, did you see that homing on this? Oh my gosh, that was crazy actually. I don't even have the gauntlets on. These grenades honestly have always been underrated to me though. Do you ever, like if you're sniping these are insane. Like, literally, it doesn't matter your RPM, I'm pretty sure. Just, like, body shot, throw a grenade. And, like, they have to run really far away. Gets them completely out of the fight. I ran this in Trials a little bit before uh, Stasis came out. That was a headshot, I don't know. They do, they do feel really good. It's just, like, in practicality, there's a lot of... Oh, good angle. There's just a lot of utility in getting a little more damage with your body shots and only needing body shots to get kills. But I always go for headshots when using these anyway, so I don't know. Maybe 
This will convert me. See, he's not looking. That's the only reason I'm coming in. Nice. Good job, teammate. He's not going to push. That's smart. I'm interested to see how the stasis nerfs affect uh, hunters in general. I think uh, a lot of these exotics have been kind of getting left behind like Wormhust just because you're getting your dodge less on stasis. So it's, it's, well, that was interesting. Like shot and dodge at the same time and it like didn't dodge on my screen. But uh, I think a lot of these exotics like Wormhust have been kind of thrown to the side because you don't, you're not, you're not dodging as much or you're using your dodge as a part of a freezing combo. Teammate? Okay, I was about to say, does he need me to help after I've got him to one shot? Let's push up to B here. It's actually going really well. I haven't gotten any, like, half, half bolt bow pulls. Or I haven't really needed to, to be fair. Been uh, keeping my range well. Oh, that was a headshot. Nice. Couldn't save my teammate there, but uh, I got the behemoth kill. He did not die in vain. Watch him push up. Oh! Looks oh. like we have a 6 to 5 advantage, which is it's gonna help keep the lead for sure. Interesting Wither Horde. Um, I think Wither Horde just not good for this map. There's a lot of vert verticality in this map. Oh, we traded. I uh, didn't get a chance to get the Igneous Hammer before Trials got cancelled again. I guess I should say my opinion on that real quick. I don't really get why Trials gets cancelled for that when trading, to be honest. That's something like, it's not really hurting anyone. It's, it's just helping people. So it seems like that's something you can just let ride, let people just play if they want to play and try to fix it as soon as you can so not everyone gets all the loot. I think they're literally just being super cautious and not wanting everyone to get all the uh, loot immediately, like bad players, which is just, I don't know, it doesn't seem like, it seems very short-sighted, I guess. I think, you know, maybe having some people just enter the playlist, even if they're doing some cheesy stuff, like, just let it happen almost, is my opinion. I wasn't doing it or anything like that, so, I mean, I'm, I'm not, like, biased for it happening because of that. I don't think I would do that. Not, not to mention, it just seems like so much effort for something that just doesn't matter that much. This guy just ran away. Right. Yeah, the wellspring I thought was kind of useless, but with this build, actually, it's kind of nice on this bow. Although I'm doing that mostly, so I don't think it's <laughs> really coming in handy that much. But, um, you know, if I do get a bow kill, helping me get my nades for the easy cleanup. I will say this bow feels really good. I don't know how much that accuracy stat is compared to other lightweights, because I just don't really use lightweights, so... I, I mean, I, I just don't see the point, really, but I don't know. This one feels really good. I don't know if the Impulse Amplifier matters that much on your, like, fully drawn. All right, we are bouncing out of here. I'm gonna die stasis. But I will say this bow surprised me in this game. Like, felt good. It's getting a lot of registration with it. So maybe uh, Impulse Amplifier is kind of a sleeper perk on it. So that's the Imperial Needle. Uh, this is kind of a god roll bow for this specific build I was running, and you know it did feel good. It it was better than I expected, and I want to say you know look out for impulse amplifier, look out for your fiberglass and elastic combo. This on any bow is amazing. That's what you want no matter what the bow is. But uh, yeah, uh, like this bow a lot more than whispering slab, but I didn't put too much time into whispering slab. I do think you can get uh, Swashbuckler here as well. So maybe that would be the god roll for a lot of people. 
Because once you get Swash times 5 and like maybe an another buff, I'm not sure. I don't think Swash times 5 by itself can do it, but you can one-shot some people with it. So, yeah. Um, pretty impressed with Imperial Needle. Let me know if you tried it out in Crucible or if you just like using it in PvE. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.